All right, one last uh, update before we take our next break. And six suspects believed to be behind the murder of four women in Mawanga, Nakuru County, will remain in custody for 14 days to allow detectives to complete investigations. The six who were arrested last week were arraigned in Nakuru. Now, these and other stories are in our local wrap. The prime suspect in the Nakuru Bizarre murders, Evans Kebuaro, and his accomplices, Julius Otieno, Joseph Simiu, Dennis Molo, Isaac Inyanjui, and Makoha Wanjala, appeared before Nakuru Senior Principal Magistrate Charles Ndegwa. The six were, however, not charged after the prosecution side requested for 14 days to detain them as they conclude investigations. Detectives are set to take DNA samples, fingerprints from the suspects to compare them to those found at the crime scene and also conduct mental assessment. Case will be mentioned on 19th of July. Elsewhere, the Uyano Platform for Peace, a body which brings together NCIC, the Registrar of Political Parties, Ministry of Interior and Interreligious Council of Kenya, has decried the rise in cases of hate speech through social media. Uyano says in the last one month, they have recorded 31 cases of hate speech on social media, with Twitter identified as the main platform for hate speech, followed by Facebook and TikTok. We have seen that uh, there is uh, a pressure change and uh, what uh, was in April a hot spot uh, at this time we could say it has gone down to medium risk not high risk and this is the case uh, in Kisumu in Nairobi here after a push and pull between the Ministry of Health and a section of civil societies, the ministry has eventually launched the National Reproductive Health Policy 2022-2032. The policy, which is meant to align reproductive health with provisions of the constitution, was scheduled for March this year, but pushed to a later date due to pushbacks from the civil society groups who protested non-inclusivity of women in their diverse reproductive health needs. And I'm confident today that the delay was not in vain. And we have ensured that the policy that we are launching here today embodies the wish and the aspirations of the majority of Kenyans. And finally, the National Gender and Equity Commission has urged media houses to give fair coverage to female candidates in the ongoing political campaigns. In a meeting which brought together the Commission, Kenya Editors Guild, UN Women and Civil Society groups stressed the importance of giving women a voice in the political space. All right, on that note, let's take another break. But I